Definitely, definitely healing. Margaret Cahirlach, uh, uh, I think the views of Professor Kathleen Lynch, head of the UCD School of Social Justice, are appropriate in this discussion. And she says, water is a public good that cannot and should, be, should not be commodified, commercialised or privatised. And it is the duty of the state to protect people's right to safe, secure, accessible and affordable water. She said, what, what is a public good cannot and must not be turned into a profit-making opportunity for multinational corporations. And indeed, in that context, I welcome the the proposal for a referendum. Uh, the referendum proposal uh, first saw life as, life as a smokescreen to divert its attention from the central issue of the day, that is the abolition of the hated water charges, and that is what the public want. The calls came from the likes of Eamon Ryan, Green Party leader, who was responsible with Fianna Fáil for putting water charges on the agenda, and from Labour Party backbenchers chasing any fig leaf behind which they could hide their broken promises. I remember their promises in the manifesto of 2011, uh, opposing water charges and the Tesco ad lambasting Fine Gael for proposing such a charge. Also came from Labour senators involved in internecine party strife on any convenient issue. And indeed, SIPTU leader Jack O'Connor, uh, a government supporter who is completely out of touch with his, mem with his own members and assort assorted others who are in favour of these hated water charges. The huge numbers of people on the, people on the streets, the risen people, should not be taken for fools. They will not be taken in by any smokescreen or any cyn cynical trickery on referendums or allowances. They'll not be sold a pup again as they were by the Labour Party in 2011. And the public will not accept our referendum as a quid pro quo for, for agreeing to charging families for water at however low a rate or however a restricted, a restricted period. The public know that if water charges are put in place, they will rise to full cost recovery under EU law. And they know too that hand in hand with any referendum must be the abolition of these charges. And they know that only people power can secure the abolition of these charges. And indeed, the most important uh, task now for the risen people is to turn out in, their, in huge numbers in the for the national demonstration on December the 10th here in Dublin and to support their local protests. And in Tipperary, I call on people to support their protests next Saturday in Nina and, and the following Saturday, the 29th of November in Clonmel. Uh, I'll ask the Deputy to move to adjournment.